Happy Thanksgiving, gamers! And since it's the holiday, I thought I'd do the one game that everybody who owns a Wii has been anticipating. And that game is Donkey Kong Country Returns. Ever since playing Donkey Kong Country Returns at E3, I've been really eager for this game to be released, so I could play the full version at home. Of course, a game like this does have a ton of expectations to live up to. So did Nintendo deliver? You bet your ass they did. This game just isn't a bunch of bananas. Ouch. If you like the original for the Super Nintendo, then you're gonna love this. This fresh installment brings back everything you loved about the past installments to come back with a long overdue version for the Wii. This time around, we get a new villain to chase down, and he's stolen all of Donkey Kong's bananas. Now you'll be playing through a game that provides some really visually stunning areas, and a few of them really make a neat artistic statement. I mean, just look at this stage. Freaking cool. And if you listen closely, you'll even hear a few classic songs from the original revamped for this installment. Cool. Now let's talk about gameplay, because this game really does a good job at still feeling familiar, even though it does have a lot of well-deserved updates. This time around, Donkey Kong has new attacks, like the Ground Stomp, Climbing Up Walls, and Diddy Kong's Jetpack that helps you stay in the air a few seconds longer than usual. And sometimes you'll even find a rocket barrel to ride around on. Ah, whoops. The one thing I should point out that they changed, however, is that the first player can only play as Donkey Kong. Even if you've already found Diddy Kong, you won't be able to switch between the two like you could in past installments. It's only by playing a two-player game that a second player can take control of Diddy Kong. Now this may sound like a downside at first, but just trust me, after playing the game, this is something that you won't even be bothered by. This game also sprinkles in some great elements from the original, like riding on your animal friend, finding the special areas in each stage, collecting Kong letters, unlocking special areas, and even Cranky Kong makes an appearance. Unfortunately, he is not as cranky as he used to be. Ugh, so where's all the mean insults at, you long-bearded, damn dirty ape? <laughs> looks like I told him. Damn it. Another thing I like about this game is that it's not too easy, but it's not too hard either. And a few things like the mine ride level, as well as facing the first stage boss for the first time around, did prove to be quite challenging. Now there aren't many games for the Wii that I can say are a must have, but if you own a Wii, you should definitely consider picking this one up. And this is a game that's very refreshing to play through after trying out something like Kirby's Epic Yarn for the Wii. Oh boy, talk about a letdown. But if you're looking for a good game to check out for the Wii, or a gift idea for the holidays, do yourself a favor and keep this Donkey Kong game in mind, because this one is definitely worth the money. So until next time, gamers, game on. Whew, nearly escaped that one. Ugh, I hate bananas. <laughs>